y'all probably know this about me, but I'm just not okay with just staying here. I wanna go here and I wanna go fast. I only had room for one more machine, at least at this point. And when considering what machine that was gonna be, I am very serious about production. And so I went with a shop saver. I believe every single machine on the market has its place. And I'm very fortunate to have the lineup that I have. But this one is a serious commercial unit that will absolutely take my business to the next level. One CNC machine is a business in its own. What it does is it automates a process that you would otherwise have to do manually over and over and over again. If you're a cabinet maker, for example, one of these machines is a business all in itself. Now the Shop Saber machine automates even more processes than that machine does. Now that I'm trying to get to a higher level of a manufacturing shop, automating as many processes as possible is key. So let me get into a few things on what this machine does in order to help me there. One of the big obvious upgrades is that this does have a vacuum bed. The vacuum is actually stored at the rear of the machine on the ground. And of course the Laguna machine that I have is also a vacuum bed. So I was already familiar about how much of an upgrade this is for the CNC. However, it's worth noting, listen to how quiet this machine is. This is with the vacuum pump and the spindle running. What the vacuum bed allows is there is a, a vacuum underneath that creates suction to suck down the spoil board as well as your material to the bed so that you don't have to have either tabs at all depending on how big or small the part is. Smaller parts like this, they definitely do need tabs, but we run lots of material that don't need tabs because it has a vacuum bed. One of the main struggles with CNC is figuring out how to hold down the material. With the vacuum bed, you just rely on that suction to pull it all the way down. It eliminates that completely. Then looking at the process, that also kills whenever I have to walk over to, to one of these other machines and go to every single one of the hold downs to tighten or untighten. It completely eliminates that step. Then taking it a step further, Shop Saber has automated the process of loading material even easier by having reference pins. They have a cordless pendant, which is also a really nice feature, but the reference pins are these. <laughs> no, that's not cool. That's like some space stuff. So what, what that will do is one, you can take off the material, but then whenever you want to load it back, you pop up the pins and now you can reference your uh, material all the way to the bottom and all the way to the left of the machine, making, if I wanted to cut 50 of these, then I can make sure that they're all in, this, in, in the same spot to do that. Just for the fun sake of it. Besides the vacuum bed, the biggest upgrade that I'm absolutely in love with that is a game changer to me is the automatic tool changer. Typically on a CNC, if you have a job, let's say I cut out a bunch of, of charts that first require an engraving bit, and then you come back with a regular end mill in order to do the profile to cut out the profile of the chart you have to manually change over that bit to from an engraving bit to the end mill and then back to the engraving bit for the next sheet. That process only takes, I don't know, 45, to, uh, 45 seconds to a minute, but still that time counts. You can have 10 tools lined up here. Then whenever it's done doing all of the engraving, it will automatically come back here, release the engraving bit, pick up on the end mill, and then go immediately into the profile cutting. Another thing that the ATC eliminates is having to zero Z in between bit changes. So whenever you put in a new bit, it measures the height of it and then you Z it out. It'll remember that so that whenever it comes over and swaps out the engraving bit for the profile bit, it doesn't have to re Z it at that point. It can just automatically go in and start cutting. Watch how Shop Saber has incorporated the dust dock. What this does is it removes the dust boot before it goes and picks up the new tool. This has been a real big point of frustration for CNC owners. So the fact that they've automated this is just really neat. By the way, I wanna address this noise real quick because it's actually a really cool feature. You have to hook up an air compressor to this unit and it, it's always dispensing a small amount of air in order to make sure that no dust gets up into the system. So that's why you're gonna hear that throughout this entire video. Now, in order to maximize precision, the Shop Saber unit is upgraded to this uh, ball screw system here. And watching this thing work is just incredible. To, on most CNC's, I think all other CNC's, it uses a rack and pinion system. With the rack and pinion system, there's always gonna be at least a tiny bit of play. And this ball screw system completely eliminates that. All right, let's move up 
here. Because I also think that this is a really cool feature. So typically one of the axes that you're most limited by is your Z axis. And on whenever I'm cutting fraction of decimal charts, for example, there is so much lettering. It does an A, it picks up and then goes down to the next letter. Then it picks up and goes down to the next level. And all of that Z up and down motion just makes the time it takes to cut an entire sheet incredibly long. Z is notoriously gonna be your slowest axis to work long because it's always gonna have to raise and lower the weight of the spindle head. What ShopSaber has done is they have included an air cylinder or an air piston that is calibrated to counterbalance the weight of that spindle head. And that way it can move up and down, drastically increasing cut speed and therefore reducing runtime. One thing I'm really excited about is the ability to add a laser to this shop saver. So this is something made by Opt Lasers out of, I believe they're Polish, and they just mounts right here on the side of the shop saver allowing me to very quickly go from not only the capabilities of a, of a traditional CNC, but now having laser capabilities as well.